I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. Hmm. Uh, I'm here parked behind your car. Should I come to the back door? Um, yeah, you can come to the back. Okay. Okay. to the middle of the day now you guys will have seen a little bit of my morning um you also saw me on with my business partner preparing for the evening which i'm gonna tell you guys what we're doing um you saw me working now and then i think you just saw me eating lunch and while i was eating lunch i was um on a training i like to first of all take a break and eat make sure y'all are eating during the day make sure you're hydrating yourself make sure you're drinking your water um and i love to do trainings during that time because it's like two birds with one stone rather than trying to just set hours to train um so that was great got some really good tips from the training that i did so now <clears throat> um i am about to do a few things on my daily schedule and then i'm so excited so my business partner and i have decided to partner together to attack the luxury and what we're doing is expires and unconditionally withdrawn i think i told you guys if i have not then i'll share it now um i did tell you that i do seller letters <clears throat> excuse me that i do seller letters and so now with the letters that i have sent we are going to do another point of contact and we're going to actually go to the properties and um just leave them expired packets so we've given them you know market trends we've given them a little bit of what our marketing strategy would be uh, we've shared you know about ourselves and so the goal is just to get face to face with these homeowners who have once had their you know home on the market and again it either expired or was withdrawn so what i am, am going to be doing right now is few things on my to-do list my you know regular schedule and then i'm going to get dressed and go see her i'm dressed down right now because i had to um run out run an errand i had to go get uh, i'm in a wedding this weekend and i'm a hostess and i had to go get the the dress from the tailor um so i am going to be getting you know dressed a little more business professional for us doing that so now i'm just grabbing all the things that i need to write my letters to sellers i got my really nice black envelopes i got this really pretty paper i love it um because i have white envelopes i mean black envelopes i have a white pen for the address i also have a, a row of stamps and then i have my business cards obviously that go in there my luxury business cards are being ordered so i'm using up the very last of these and then i will be using my luxury business cards and then I also have my pens. Did I show you guys? I think you guys should have seen my pens before. But just in case, I got pens that say Deluxe Realtor. So every seller gets a pen in their envelope as well. And like I said, I just do a handwritten letter to them. And from there, my business partner and I are going to be going to the house. So you guys know that, you know, when you're doing lead generation, they talk about points. Sometimes you have to touch people seven times before you actually get that closing. So this is such a great, you know, second point for us to do 
and it is face to face. So I'm going to do that. And you know, I, I wanted to get on earlier and bring you guys with me, but I was like, uh, it, it just didn't feel necessary as I was driving to the tailor, you know, just to tell you sometimes, you know, we have our schedule, right? You have this time block. You want to do calls. You want to plan this. You want to write letters. You want to work on farming messages, whatever the case may be. And the purpose of that is to get clients so that you're not necessarily able to do that all the time because then your time starts to be filled with appointments. Um, but even sometimes if personal things, you know, happen to come up, like for instance, you know, the dentist, we can't go to the dentist usually for things on like a Saturday or what's considered a day off for some of us on a Sunday, right? So oftentimes you're having to break in the middle of your day to do some personal things as well. But I just wanted to really come and tell you guys like, when you're handling business, even if you can't do every single thing, like my goal is always 10 letters a day, right? Well, today, because of the time and because I want to get a couple other things on a schedule, duh, I may just do two. But what I want to say to you is like, keep the energy if you're doing the work. If you're not hitting the exact numbers, don't let that bring you down. Like stay up for the simple fact that I'm still doing the work because I could have done none and said, hey, I got to get there for her, you know, get that work. No. I have time, so I'm going to do at least two. I didn't get to fully do my 10, but what's most important? Now, instead of me having all these hours to write letters, now I have a shorter amount of time because I'm about to get in front of these homeowners, which will sell me all day over a letter, right? So hopefully that makes sense. I just wanted to encourage you guys, if there are breaks in your schedule and you feel like I didn't get to all the calls I wanted to get to or whatever it is that's on your schedule, keep your energy up no matter what. The reason that I have um the best days because i struggle i thought about doing a whole video for y'all just telling y'all how discouraged i was last month but and i may still but the reason that my days stay so good and it seems like i get more done is because my attitude is just so positive toward the one or two or three things that i get done so we're about to do seller letters and then um i'm gonna check some messages and make sure everything is good there go through a couple clients i have oh my god i have this client y'all that has like 20 lots so we are about to be selling all this land and what i did was i'm having it co-listed between two of my business partners so they're going to handle everything and then i'm just going to get the commission since i'm still building my luxury real estate business i'm not really trying to step outside of that but of course i'm still taking clients so any clients who come in kind of under my luxury mark you guys know i have my buyer's agent and then i have listing agents that i just co-list with so that is super excited we have like a 20 plus lot <laughs> transaction that is about to go on um we also just got an offer today on a pro on a property that we listed yesterday and it's like five thousand over asking and it's an amazing offer actually so that's good i'm not sure if i've updated you guys my buyer agent and i have already closed two and then she has a couple more in the field right now again my listing agent has two on the market one we have a really great offer that we are going to be accepted and then the other one we're waiting and then i got those 20 plus lots so things are are definitely moving while i'm investing in my luxury real estate business and i absolutely love that for me um send my sphere messages sphere messages have been working out so well if y'all have not been contacting y'all sphere um to just send a reminder that you're an agent or if you've never sent that message just because you posted it on social media don't assume that your aunt your uncle your cousin or your high school friend saw it. So you want to send those messages literally individually to each person. I've had referrals come from that already. I had one guy who I just sent it to yesterday and he's like, hey, we have a house up on land contract. If this doesn't go, you know, if the deal falls through on land contract, we're going to have you listed. So just for me sending out a, a sphere message. So do everything you can build your business. I hope y'all can feel my energy, how excited I am to continue to grow my real estate business. I am going to be a millionaire real estate agent. I am going to profit a million dollars. I've already hit the six figure mark. I know I can do that. I made more last year than I did before, you know, the year before. So now it's like, let's just get to the million. So super excited. I love you guys. And we're just going to keep on working. Oh, and something I wanted to say to you guys earlier, right? Um, because I obviously I greeted you guys. It was first thing in the morning. So I still had my pajamas on, still had my scarf and everything on. Now, usually the way that my morning works is I get up. And of course, you know, I'm just in chameleon, just thanking God for the morning. 
But the first thing I really do, wash my face, brush my teeth, and then I like to work out first thing in the morning um, so that I can shower and be fresh by the time I go to spend time with God. Because I feel like if I try to get in my word and I'm just waking up, I'm still not like fully up. So because I didn't make it to bed until I fell asleep at 4 a.m. Like I was literally just in the bed up. Um, when my mentee got to my house today, I told her, I said, listen, you are going to be dealing with a real homeowner today. I am still in my robe, <laughs> in my head scarf. Of course, if it was a different type of client, I would have had to, you know, figure something different out if it was an actual client, but this was training for her. And I said, you may go to somebody's house and they're comfy. Right. Um, and then right, literally right after she left, there was no break time. So I just threw on my workout gear and jumped right on zoom with my business partner, um, who were, were really close, really cool. And it was at that point, maybe like 10 or so. Cause I had spent like an hour, hour and a half with my mentee doing our listing presentation live. And so, you know, originally I thought like, dang, should I take my scarf off? Like I'm gonna be, you know, doing my YouTube video and the thing that I want y'all to know is the real, you know, first of all, I work from home, working out was the next thing that I was doing. I wasn't about to take my hair down just to make it look like something else for you guys. So if you were kind of wondering like, why was you in your scarf on a meeting? This was my business partner who is, you know, my close friend. We were literally on a Zoom just handling something. It wasn't a business setting, if you will. I never would have entered a business setting you know like that and then same thing even with my mentees you know when they say see me meetings i'm always you know dressed up she just got to experience me a listening presentation you're coming to a homeowner's home who may work from home so i just kind of wanted to kind of share that with you guys y'all know i prefer to be up and be dressed while i'm working that's why i was like let me at least get out these pjs and put my workout gear on but when i got up my morning went back to back to back to back to back so um but immediately after that we worked out we showered and we got presentable. Um, but again, after I'm done with this work, I'm actually going to get a little more even business, not a little more, I'm not at all. We're gonna get more, um, we're gonna get business professional so that we can head out and start on this journey of connecting with our expired sellers. <laughs> another level of lead generation today so that is totally fine another thing that i know that i shared with you guys before but just in case someone is new and you haven't seen this part of my video i do have um a tablet where i keep all of my accomplishments and i think that that's really good for encouragement it's also really good for motivation and it's good for assessment right if at the end of the month or the end of the quarter or the end of the year you really want to see like how did i do and you look at what you've done because most people will just look at all oh, the clients that I have. But I think what's so much more important is what are the action steps that I took to get those clients or even to sustain the clients that I have. Or even as people are reaching out, you know, I'm really big on database and different things like that. So I keep track of the calls that I've made, how many people I've added to my database when I do have new listings coming up, um, new clients, the seller letters. Uh, my sphere messages that I've sent out, even trainings, like how many trainings I've done that week. So that's just something that I wanted to um, share again in case you guys haven't seen it. So I just updated the seller letters that I sent. And next up on the list, because I'm probably going to be getting dressed in literally less than an hour. Um, so the next thing on the list, oh, I'm going to go through my emails, my emails and my texts and make sure I'm all good with that circle with my clients, send my sphere messages, and then I'm gonna get dressed and be out. So let's see how we do in 
the next hour, y'all. Yeah, y'all, just take, I'm telling you, take control of your business. Tomorrow, the 22nd, yes, take full control of your business. And I promise you, this is not talked about a ton, but your energy is so important. It's so important because it'll really make or break your mind and your mindset really makes or breaks your activity level as well as I believe your creativity, you know? We're in a people business. I'm gonna tell y'all this. As a business owner, something that really keeps me and something that will keep you. Think about the people more than you think about yourself. What I mean by that is everything, if everything is I gotta get a client, I gotta get a commission, which those are obvious, right? We know we need clients. We know we need commissions. But if you take care of people, if you answer questions, if you um, just extend yourself, of course, without extending, your, extending yourself to the point where maybe you're like driving around doing stuff that's just not making sense. You know, you will have those moments, though, where, again, you extend yourself to a person. Somebody may even be working with another agent and just call you because they trust you, right? I literally had that happen but I believe that stuff like that always comes back. I believe that referrals come through that. If stuff fall through, they always contact you. So I'm just saying that to say like, really think about others over yourself. And I promise you, like I am, I'm a hundred, I, I can stand behind this. If you take care of people, you are going to be taken care of. Like it just is what it is. If you take care of people, you are going to be well taken care of. So now I'm just checking through my social media because I do get business from there. Yeah, I got a new message. I'm looking to get into real estate and have watched your journey. I'm looking for a mentor. Is this something you would be interested in helping me with? So I get agent um, agents messaging me, potential agents messaging me and clients. So checking my like Facebook and Instagram DMs are so, so important for me. Hey, Denisha, I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to send you a quick message and let you know that I have transitioned my business to full-time luxury real estate. If you know anyone looking in that space, I love the opportunity to work with them. And if you have any real estate questions, let me know. Bye. Send just 10 of those every day between your phone contacts your instagram your facebook and watch your business start blowing up let's get it y'all all right love so we are fully dressed and we are about to head out to um our expired listings just wanted to show you guys what i had on very very comfy um tan like dress i have on gold and green jewelry because I'm wearing my new sandals today. They're so cute and they're extremely comfortable as well. And I'm literally gonna throw on my brown shades. I probably won't wear these like as we're at the houses because we're literally gonna be going up to people's door. And then my brown coach bag. But this is how I'm leaving home. I might put my realtor, um, my little realtor pin on as well. But this is the look and we are headed out. So I did add my gold realtor pin and I wanted to add a headband because my, my I, have, I have a hair appointment, um, what's today, Wednesday, Friday. And so my hair is like not sitting right. So the headband just kind of helped it sit back and look a little better. So now this is how we're looking. Feeling a little more complete and put together. Y'all know how it is when y'all in between hair days, my Lord. So let's go. Hey guys, so I just made it to Adrena's house. I'm waiting on her to come down. So the expired packets, she has them. Um, she has the printer. We ordered um, some really nice linen paper. So I'll show you guys what those look like. I ordered the sliding bar. So we're gonna hand it to them kind of like a booklet. So, whoa, I ordered the sliding bar. So once she brings them in, 
the car while we're driving to Birmingham. We're gonna be putting these on the little packet. Um, and so I'm super excited, y'all, just getting outside of you know the comfort zone like i said not sticking to the traditional calling and mailers it's like get yourself out there get face to face especially in luxury real estate as i'm studying one of the main things that they're saying is you got to get face to face it's such a relationship business it's 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 definitely different you know like i've talked about early on than just the you know traditional real estate sales so I'm super excited. I'm excited to stretch myself. I'm excited to do it with a partner. I don't know if I've told you guys that before, but if you are new or even if you're not new because neither of us are new, but you're just trying to like really, really grow, find a partner, find somebody that you can leverage yourself, leverage your time with. So I'm certified in luxury. I'm a part of EXP Luxury. Adrena um, has been at Signature Sotheby. She has 20 years of experience. She's a broker. Again, she has a printer. So we have come in together and you know, we would zoom to put together the expired uh, pack and we zoom to put together our luxury listing presentation we zoom now we're working on our buyer uh, our luxury buyer presentation um you know we put in money together to order the sliding bars to order the paper so you guys saw me earlier on zoom when i when i had my workout gear on but i still have my scarf on that's who i was meeting with we were working on our luxury buyer presentation so i'm just saying all of that to say to you guys you also don't have to go at it alone and that will kind of help you to kind of get to the goal even quicker and so I'm just so excited. Of course, once we get out there, I don't know how much filming I'm going to do because as people like answer the door and things like that, I don't want to get that, you know, on camera. But maybe as she and I talk, maybe before we go out, after we go, um, I'll, you know, check in with you guys. And again, I'm going to show you the luxury, I'm sorry, the expired packet that we did create. So just stay tuned, guys. All right, y'all, she's here. Hey. So we're about to go. How do you feel, boss? I told them how I feel about us taking action, about doing it together. Yeah, so. I actually feel good because we yeah. always partner well together. You know yeah. you're my business bestie. Yeah. And we just mesh well. And this is what we do. And I'm, I feel right. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. I'm like, I feel so good. It actually feels better doing it this way than trying to mm -hmm. do it on your own. Correct. And I think if people would leverage people... Even advantage. in trying to build your business, you will probably go way further. So, absolutely. So, we'll give y'all an update once we're done because we want to be able to hit 12 properties. So, see y'all shortly. All right. So, the first times we went to was gated. And so, I'm just going to mail out the packet because we don't want to go opening nobody's gate, y'all. Um, But we are at the second one. We are about to go up to the door. This is our packet on this beautiful linen paper. I'm super excited. So, let's go i'll show y'all the house so that is the house right there we are just pulling up our public records data so that we can get a name and then we will be going to the home to deliver i'll tell you guys how it go so we were actually delivering to another house and this house right here has a for sale by owner sign and we just went in to talk to the owner so we potentially will have a new listing so we're really excited about that and now we're about to keep our journey going we're at the door, we're waiting on him to answer. We're in a beautiful area right now. Well, the entire city is gorgeous. <laughs> but this block is so cozy. Because I am home, so I'm going to end this day in the life video now. Um, it was such, just such a great day from start literally to finish. Um, so I tried to show you guys as much as I could in the field with Adrena doing our door knock for the expired and unconditionally withdrawn um, homeowners. And it was just such a great, it was so great. It was literally so great. So this is what our packet looks like. This is our cover sheet with our names and a little bit of our accomplishments. And then we do like current market trends for that area. We put their address on there saying like what their home should be listed at with a question mark saying for them to call us and then a little bit of the market marketing tactics that we have for them. So it's a nice three pages, linen paper, really, really nice. Um, it was just an amazing experience. So I do have three of them um, and it's such a learn as you go experience. So that's why I listen, y'all, I'm taking my shoes off, I'm tired. Um, you know, don't wait until anything is perfect because once you get out there, you're gonna learn a lot of things. So. Um, she got the addresses together and as we pulled up, we saw that some were like vacant or being built. So 
we're going to make sure that when we go to the property, the owner is actually is actually owner occupied. So um, I have these three that I actually have to mail because they're like vacant, they're owned by LLC, that's not owner occupied. So we're gonna mail these tomorrow with my seller letters for tomorrow. But other than that, today has been amazing. I hope you guys were encouraged. I hope you were entertained. I love you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.